Hello everyone and welcome to another tutorial video with me John Parker and me Jack Gowding and today we are going to take a look at how to set up the HOO or Hands of Omega console. Now um, with this when it comes to installing the exterior it's the same, well more or less the same as uh, NLS's however um, with HOO uh, when it comes to the interior, the actual console itself there are two ways you can actually choose to res a console but we'll get to that in a moment um, it's just worth mentioning right now so first things first we'll just set up the, uh, the hood with the exterior first and then we'll move on to the actual console room so John's got the gear John yep. let's go over to you and get started okay, okay, then. so um, when you first buy a console from HOO you will receive what I have here, if I'm on gone, one sec, there you go, uh, it will be called console room and then the name of the console that you've purchased, so if you go in the shop when you right click and pay, that's what you'll get. So you'll drag that onto the ground and uh, you just simply click it, click accept, I've already accepted mine, but uh, what you do is you click accept and it will just put that into your inventory, which I can find for you now, let's scroll down to console, type theta, theta. Right now, with HOO, the object that has the colon in front is the console itself, the reservoir for the console. And then you also get the um, exterior that comes along with it. Now, to save time, you might as well do the exterior first. So just simply click it, just like you would with the actual package itself. And you'll get another box that says add on reservoir box. So you scroll up to the A's. Uh, add on reservoir box. Rassel on, there you go. And there you go, that's your exterior. So I'm going to keep my track on that. And then I'm going to go back down to the folder for the console. And simply drag that onto the ground. So I think, Jack, we have enough space for the theta here, and it shouldn't be interacting with any other consoles we have on this LAN. So I'm going to click here. Now, if you're on the ground and you want to raise this in the air, you can choose a height, but we don't need to here, or you can enter manual height. I'm just going to click here for now. So I click here, and it should raise fine. That looks good to me. Now, give it a sec, because it does sometimes take a little bit longer. Still resing. Ah, oh, there we go. And it should turn itself on any second. There we go. And we're pairing up. Brilliant. So there you go, you've got your, cons uh, your, uh, your console set up. Now, you're probably thinking, okay, where's the hood in the folder? Right, when you purchase a console from HOO, after a good five minutes, I think it took me, the server will automatically send you the hood as a little add-on session home remote box. You'll just, you'll just get sent it, it'll just pop up immediately. And then after that, you'll get a landmark to the place. So when you get that, you'll be given another object called Add-on Statenheim Remote Box. So you'll drag that onto the ground, you'll click it, and you'll accept it. Again, I've already accepted mine, but you'll be given a folder similar to the other ones called Add-on uh, Statenheim Remote Box. I've got the one at the top. Now, I've already set mine up, but for the demonstration purposes, I'm going to set, create a new one. So you'll be given these two Statenheim remotes. One's a full perm Statenheim. The other ones are now transfer with cube enabled. Now what that means is that the cube enabled one can be used with the, I think, the uh, transfer cube, the transfer um, exteriors to the hood, but it wipes the hood clean and then puts the new exteriors in. And then the full perm one is what you give to other people and then they can use that hood to control your console using the, um, the security system. Yeah, add them, add them to the security, and then they'll be able to give. They'll be able to give. Um, they'll be able to use your console depending on what access you've given them, companion, time lord, etc. Anyway, so you drag that onto the ground. Right click and edit it, and then you take the uh, exterior that we um, extracted earlier, and you drag that directly into the hood, and then right click and take, and then you'll be given the Sattenheim there and then you add that to your um, hoods and after a while when it accepts it it should add it come on second life do that again it's not accepting it Jack oh there you go so there you go, it's popped up in the left corner. Now you'll notice that there's no actual background picture on the hood. 
but when you click it, it will ask you, okay, well, what TTC do you want to connect to? Because remember, this remote can be used on any console, and if you give the full perm copy to anybody, they can use it on any console themselves if they've got access to it. So I'm going to, of course, click my TTC because I want to use my own console, and I'm going to choose the theta, which is what I've got rest. And then after a few seconds, it should tell me that I've got Time Lord access. There you go, Time Lord access. And then the background shows the Time Lord key. That's when I know it's connected to the console and we've got full access to this uh, console. So now to test it, I'm going to click the hood and choose the exterior because it wants to know, okay, what exterior do you want to use? Because so you might have multiple exteriors in there. And then I'm going to click summon. And that will just test to see if it is linked um, and everything's on Kidori. So let's wait for that. There we go. And it should. I think the sound's lagging. Oh, there we go. Uh, there and there we go. All linked up. So I'm going to go ahead and take off with the hood as well. And there we go. That's it. You're set up. From here on out, you can use your console just like you would with any other. Um, the box, the Reza box, if you don't want to show that, you can click save to save it as a permanent room. I'm not going to. But that will make the box disappear. And I think it also deletes all the scripts from all the prims so that, you know, if you don't need the Rezas on there. If you're in a sandbox, we do not recommend you do that. Oh, no. There will be a lot of hassle. Yeah, Doing and not that. only that, but that will remove your ability to deregister the console from the database, I do believe. Yes, it although, does. Although, well, the sandbox will return it automatically. When it does, the H2O database should clear your console after eventually. A after a ping. Mm -hmm. So, um, but it's not recommended to do that. We do recommend keeping your ResiBox active. What you can do is, because the ResiBox is modifiable, I think, I can't verify. Actually, no, I can. of course I can verify that. Yeah, you should just be able to turn it transparent yourself. Just, just do that. Turn to one hundred percent transparency. Um, and it should be on Phantom. Yes, it is. So it's fine. I mean, that's the cheating way of doing it, so that you don't have to lose the reservoir box or the scripts that go inside it. Now, if you have multiple different consoles and you don't have to keep uh, deresing the box, re-resing the blah blah blah, blah mm -hmm. um, and you want to kind of change at will, um, first, obviously, you do deres the console, but then you can actually access your other. Uh, consoles from the hood itself. Mm -hmm. So John, I'm going to demonstrate that now. So I'm yep. going to de-res this one using the de-res button from the reser. Give it a few seconds to ask me. There we go. Yes, do I want to delete the reser box? I do. And there you go. It goes. There you go. And then it should disappear the box. There we go. Right. So to do that, I'm first of all going to detach this hood, and then I'm going to drag it onto the ground. Inside the contest tab, I'm going to put the actual console itself which is... The Theta. The Theta. Sorry, yes, I'm in the wrong folder. Uh, there you go, Theta itself. Put that directly in there, and the put, hood will know... Put another one in there as well, just so we can show the use of two different ones. Um, okay, I've got to find the right one, because I've got so many different copies of... Uh, it, it doesn't matter, just any one will do, because... Um, there you go. Yeah. I think, I think it's, I'm hoping that will be an updated, up date version. There you go. So you can put both consoles in there. Or any, you can. How many can you have in in? Total? I think I think any any, any amount. Any amount. I, I think I think it's so, yeah, restricted. you can add as many consoles as you wish, and exteriors as well. And exteriors, yeah. Yep. Don't forget and the it, exterior. And it will work out whether or not it's a console or an exterior it should be through that colon at the start, so it will know. You don't have to worry about um, you know having to tell it. So take that back into your inventory, and uh, if I can find the folder again, there you go. So it's the top one. I will. Oops. I will right click and add it, and then if I click it. Um, you go to console and run res console. So choose that. Okay, and then you'll be given, okay, well, what console do you want to res? I'm going to choose the other one. Hopefully, this will be the right version. And then it does the same thing. Reses the res route, choose here, and then three, two, one. It then, ah, this wasn't the right version, it's giving me an update. <laughs> <laughs> so but don't you get, like that. You get, yeah, you get the picture. It's, just, it's the same principle. It's the same principle because now once you've got once this is resed out, I'll be able to de-res it again. Underneath. But yeah, underneath. it's underneath the uh, underneath the console. Wait for it to finish doing what it's doing. <laughs> then we can choose de-res, and then yes, and there we go. Okay. 
And that's pretty much it, guys. H2O, I've made this setup quite simple. Um, it's, it's obviously a lot more different to NLS because I don't use the core system. But, um, but I think it's quite cool that you can use the hood to do it because you can switch it over quite quickly. Um, and also, you know, whether or not you've got access to the icon on the hood. So there you go. That is pretty much it. Thank yep. you, Jeff. Um, so that's all we've got time for today. Uh, do remember, as we said in the previous video, if you do wish us to review a, another console uh, from a different system, that is, I mean, sorry, yeah, do a sort of video of a console from a different system, like Wits, uh, Novatech, etc. Mm -hmm. Just ask, and we will do our best to uh, do it for you. The higher the demand, the better. And um, do bear in mind as well that on the 1st of October 2016, the Dudley Zoo tour video will be released. Mm -hmm. So, until next time, folks, see you soon. Take care, and remember, let, let your geeks out. Hello. I can never get that right. Goodbye, guys. Bye. <laughs> That is all we have for today, folks. Join us again next week on another Saturday Geeks video to find out what adventure we embark on next. Thank you for watching. Feel free to like and comment on the video below. Remember to subscribe so you can keep up to date with our latest videos. Till next time. Take care, stay safe, and remember... Let, let your, your geeks, geeks out. out. Toodle pip. Toodle pip.